G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a minute since I've reacted to your AFL TikToks, so I thought I would do it again today. Let's get into the video. All right, here are the Marmalade boys going up for a hang and almost bringing it down. Now, this reminds me of back in the day, I used to have inflatable Mitre 10 bags that I used to take hangers on in the backyard. My mate Cal got up there. He got tunneled by a punching bag and one of the Mitre 10 inflatables and almost broke his neck, but it's one of the greatest marks I've ever seen. Oh, here's a clip of Brian. You're not in it, <laughs> BT's not invited to the Hall of Fame, the poor bugger. If there's a commentary Hall of Fame though, Brian, you'll be there. You'll be there, big fella. You're the bravest person ever. Maxi gone? Ah. Oh. Geez, pretty impressive what Neil's done over the last few years, especially like his life in expectancy when he got diagnosed with the disease was like two years and he's now five six seven years in so and also like I, I know people have touched on this before but usually when someone gets given a diagnosis like that you just rack off and start going on holidays and start spending time with the family and he sort of rolled the sleeves up and tried to make a bit of a start on fighting the disease that is mnd so crazy it, it's crazy how some people are wired and um yeah very inspirational holly holly's sisters made the state team what? in the afl why? You don't know how to work. <laughs> really? Why? Did I really? <laughs> Did really? I really? <laughs> I actually make the state thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's one of the all-time great reactions. Really? Did I really? Really? Why? <laughs> Why have I made the state team? Because you're an absolute jet, mate. You are an absolute jet. And they're smashing some milk with dinner as well, which is probably why she's making the state team. Just, uh good bones, good muscles. I think that's what's so amazing about AFLW is that even like five years ago, we wouldn't sort of get this. There wasn't that much girls rep footy. There wasn't that many girls teams out there. Um, so absolutely unbelievable. And uh, what a priceless reaction. Yeah, that is a snag. I reckon I've reacted to Michael before. Um, he's got 38 in his account as well, which is a great number. He slots snags for fun. He goes down and just slots them from the impossible. I absolutely love that and a quality finish. So this is really funny. I did open mic comedy up in Bendigo in like 2016, 2015. And Cody Jones used to do the, the open mics as well. Um, legitimate stand-up comedian, Cody Jones. And he has a plethora of celebrity impressions in his kit bag. So I was just scrolling through TikTok and Cody Jones, you know, pops up. He's doing these ridiculously accurate AFL impressions. Let's have a listen and watch of them. It's Friday Night Football. I'm Dennis Cometti. Kudafides gathers the ball like a loaf of bread. Bobs up and down like a cork in the ocean, kicks it down the line. <laughs> so perfect. good. Oh, great tackle! <laughs> just begin to feel that if they get their hands on the ball here, oh, Jesus, isn't he good? <coughs> Look at him go! Oh, special! Take a player like Paddy Cripps. What he does is he finds the space out there and he uses the space. And oh, that dermy is spot on. Him from some of the other players out there. Nah. These boys just aren't working hard enough in the contested ball. Brownie. You know, back when I was playing for the Brizzy Lions in the early 2000s, we would always work hard. It's just something that the modern day player doesn't do. <laughs> you know, you've got to be willing to work hard. Now, Ed, <laughs> this game is in absolute disarray at the minute. Oh, Sammy the Newman, spot on. Fast. And it's an absolute disgrace. If you haven't yet checked out Cody Jones on TikTok, obviously, um, he's at, he's on the screen. Cody Jones, comedian on TikTok. He does heaps of impressions. Um, and uh, it's the reason I log into the app, to be honest. Me individually, I play with my brother, would be pretty awesome. Played with him a bit last year um, with school footy, but yeah, really excited um, for him and Dale to play on the side of him, mate. Yeah. Will Ashcroft giving his brother Levi uh, his first TAC Cup or NAB League jumper. Um, I love that 
a lot of footy teams are firing up TikToks in terms of like, I've seen Coburg do some good TikToks, I've seen uh, Sandy Dragons do some good TikToks, so I reckon it's really cool that non-professional accounts are starting to pop up and create content. I, I love that sort of stuff. Obviously, Will's going to get drafted and drafted quite highly, but I think Levi is progressing quite well as well. I think he might be 15 and he played some NAB League footy, so or 15 or 16, so those boys have a bright, bright future and it's just cool to see like videos of them now so like when they're playing afl in the future we can circle back and watch stuff like this i reckon it's um it's amazing insight just an ultimate resi he's hacked it off the ground he's hit his mate who's pumped it forward who's hit that was just three ultimate resis just dominating in a row how good was that just the hack from fullback it's his bloke in the center of the ground. Oh, that is what back pocket plugger, that is what it was all about, isn't it? Just those sort of blokes dominating on the weekend. Massive local footy grab. This is on the Hangers and Clangers account, which is a great account on TikTok. Oh, you love that. The umpire has nearly ruined the shot. The boundary umpire has nearly ruined a great shot. Oh, it's The umpire is probably in the way at the highest point. Umpire, get out of the way, son. That's a dream hanger. So he hasn't gotten hurt. It looks cool. He's ridden him over the top, and he's just got this perfect ride. That is dream hang if I've ever seen it. These edits always crack me up. The Aussie sidemen are coming. We are forming a group and we are not here to take part. We are here to take over. So much fun shooting with those lads. It's amazing to collaborate with like-minded people who are doing their own content. So yeah, we're keen to make more content in the future. And it'd be cool to, you know, be a group in Australia. I'm not sure it's been done a whole lot before. To give it a go would be would would be so much fun. And if you guys are keen to see it comment down below but also i see people write that like oh no he's not going to film with cook and the boys anymore absolutely i will um i'm going to bring out an afl goal recreation like i do every year with those lads so i'm not doing stuff with the aussie sidemen over the lads that are normally on my channel i'll definitely be doing an afl goal recreation this year like i always do with my boys but yeah it's cool to, to branch out hang out with like-minded people they're all doing their own social media and i've had an absolute ball doing it with them so i'm excited for the future the i love the run. edits as well they're the so chance. cool stay here i'll send someone to pick you up what are you doing yeah, here we come, boys. I gotta learn how to kick straight, though. If I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna hang out with those boys, I need to sort me kicking out pronto. What if Crom won the 2017 Grand Final? <laughs> well, what, what, what if? Oh, Bruce, that's great commentary by Bruce. <laughs> That's really well edited by Asher and Hamish. That's that's good stuff. I love this bloke. His name's Davis Jarrah. Jarrah. He's got a massive following on TikTok and he makes like game day vlogs about playing in the twos for his university and they make me laugh so much. They're so good. The game day vlog of the ultimate res. He had a buy last week, uh, so didn't get to do it. But nonetheless, had my final law exam today, well, for this year, and then uh, finished that in the morning, then went and chilled. My full forward wanted to, uh, he just lives on campus and game we're playing just Friday makes content. Game. Huge. Absolutely massive game, so I had to oblige with that. So tonight's game, it's first versus second. They're first, we're second. They beat us <laughs> earlier in the year. They ran over That looks like a good singer. Uh, it's massive. 7.30, prime time. Um, it was a pretty shitty drive. Traffic was terrible, but got there nice and early, and then the boys were ready to go. So apart from this just being an absolutely awesome game to be a part of, just super entertaining, the heckling and the sledging from the opposition fans, specifically to me and my TikTok and all that, <laughs> was ridiculous. Absolutely <laughs> hilarious, fun to be a part of. So cheers to those boys. I know you're watching. Uh, but yeah, we got the win. They got up. Pretty touch and go in that last quarter. It was back and forth. It was ridiculous. By far, one of the most entertaining and fun games I've played in. Oh, the prime train from the boundary. Jeez, the prime train. 
He's an absolute star, the great man. He's doing great things on TikTok, obviously. And great things with footy as well. Day three of my Melbourne footy trip. It was the Bev Show. Saturday and it began at Crown with some breakfast. Doing a I Melbourne a vlog. Poached eggs on sourdough toast, a coffee. I can watch it these sort of vlogs all day I on TikTok. I then went to Marvel Stadium for Saturday afternoon footy. It was Carlson taking on Fremantle. I then made the quick dash to the MCG for Geelong v Richmond. Another game between two top eight teams. This was set up to be a belter and it was a belter. Bev's almost done five games in five days style. He's He went to heaps of games over the weekend. Trick shot from Nate. Oh my. That's a ridiculous finish. Oh, the drop part from the boundary. It's swinging back. These boys are dominating. The Chanana. Was that a Chanana? Deary me. Jesus. What a clinical performance by the boys. Feelings in school footy. Part Worst three. feelings in school footy. Getting kicked talk, off the oval talk for to rough me. play. Oh yeah. That Not never happened for me. Yeah, that's so frustrating. Never really happened to me. <laughs> Worst AFL teammate ever. So there's a bit of a bit of a dust up. He comes over to help. No, he's just shoved two blokes onto his teammate. <laughs> what a dog. What a dog. Oh, if you hit the right side, my goalpost, I give you 100 bucks. Mitchie Robinson as well, doing great things on YouTube and TikTok. Just hit the goalpost. You want to fade those? You want to fade them? I'll do a fade. Just hit the post. I'll fade it in. 100 bucks. Yeah, I'll sponsor it. He's sponsoring this hole. Oh, shit. Charlie Cameron is a talented, talented man. What a finish. All right, guys, that's it for another video. If you want more of myself reacting to TikToks, let me know in the comments down below. You guys seem to enjoy these last year, so um, if it is something that you enjoy, make some noise about it. I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the vids, especially the vlogs recently. The vlogs have been ticking over nicely. I love doing vlogs because I can sort of, I can make them all year if I want to, um, which is exciting. And I've just had so much on the go that it's exciting to bring the vlogs to you guys as well. So yeah, once again, I appreciate all the support on all the videos. And, uh, I can't wait to make some more content for you shortly. Cheers, guys.